And we are back. So today I am going to show how to have anonymous posting in your app. Let's get started. As always, first step is that we go to our Firebase collections, go to Posts collection, and add new field in here. Field will be called Post is Anonymous. Type will be Boolean. And confirm. Then we can head back to home page. Now in here, take a duplicate of this row. Remove the verification icon and the value for this text. Change the text color to gray. And write anonymous in here. Then double check that you don't have navigation set up in here on the anonymous text. Then click on the anonymous row, add conditional visibility, single condition, post is anonymous, is equal to true, and confirm. Then copy this condition, paste it in here, and switch this to false and confirm. Then because we have two list views in our home page, take a copy of this row and paste it down here. And now add conditional visibility to this top row. And again, single condition, post is anonymous, is equal to false and confirm. Then go to your post page, add switch list tile in here. Take this initial check away. Switch the title to be Post is Anonymous. And clear the second title. Then click on the Post button and open up the logic. Add a field in the Create Post section. And switch it to Post is Anonymous. And value will be from Variable. Widget State and our switch list tile, then close. Now let's go back to home page. It seems that we have couple errors in here. Okay, these errors are for reporting the post. You can fix these errors for your post, but for this tutorial, I am just going to delete these because it is much faster. Then we can go to our inspect post page. Take a duplicate of this row and switch this to be anonymous. And again, make sure that this has no navigation to user's profile page. Then let's also add conditional visibility in here. Single condition. Post is anonymous. Is equal to true. And again, take a copy of this. Paste it in here. and switch this to false and confirm. Then we can go to our Firebase collections and validate everything in here. 
There is one more thing that I want to make before trying out our app. Let's head to create post. Take a copy of this switch list tile, then go to your edit post page and paste it in here. Now open up this logic. Click on create document, add a field in here. And this will be post is anonymous from variable and choose the switch list tile. Then click on the switch list tile. Initial value. Open up the post document and choose post is anonymous. Then we can finally try out our app. Now let's try to post something anonymously. Switch this tile and post. And as you can see, the post is now anonymous. Now we have not done that logic in here, so you can see the poster. Also, same thing with our explore page. Because every app is unique. I don't want to add this logic everywhere, but for your app, you have to be super careful that there is no way to find out who have posted the original content, that you have the same logic applied everywhere you need it. But that's pretty much all. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Your support have been amazing. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.